Talking with Mark, as okay. opposed to as the opposed woman's to, challenge. Right. What do you see as the woman's challenge in Baltimore in particular? Um, I see we have a plethora of women with different ages um, who have major medical conditions. Um, the women's challenge is there to, to support them because these women, not because they have a medical condition, but because they are empowering other women just like themselves. They are encouraging other women like themselves. And they're educating them on the disease, on the resources to help them to combat the disease. I mean, this year, normally we take in about 12 honorees and we support them because of their massive work efforts in their field, even though they're ill. This year, we have a three-year-old. She is phenomenal, beautiful continent, beautiful smile. She has sickle cell anemia, and she is just doing it. Three years old, her mother has formed a foundation, and so she is just, a, you know, I mean, you see a three-year-old child, it's an awesome experience. So what, what drove you to form this foundation? Um, because as a woman, I know about the challenges that you have. Um, at 12, my mother passed, so I've had a lot of challenges in my life. So as I matured, this is my last stop. I am a full-grown woman, and I've had those challenges. I was a motherless child. I was a fatherless child. Um, I've had some abuse in my life. Um, you know, I have, thank God I haven't reached that point where I am major medically disabled. But, you know, even emotional trauma in your life can give you some type of disability to some degree. So I'm here as an advocate for all women with those challenges. Um, is there a building that women can go to where you're... you're can be found or there it's just a website it's a website they contact me through the website and it's really we really support women who are helping other women but if there is a need we try to connect a woman with one of our honorees who has a foundation that speaks to that need so how long you've been doing this since 2009 it's a tremendous uh, undertaking it is a very big undertaking very big um, a lot of hours, a lot of personal time, and no staff. How do you do it? <laughs> I get um, help from volunteers as much as I can. Um, I do a lot myself, and I barter a little bit, um, and I beg a lot, you know. Um, so it's, it's hard for some people that don't really see the mission, because a lot of people think, oh, it's just another concert. This is the means to how we try to raise money to Um, how can she pay for it if she's disabled, she's unemployed, she can't. So we try to help where we can. So remind us what's the name of this website. The website is womenschallenge.net. Um, www.womenschallenge.net. Um, we are on Facebook as The Women's Challenge. We are on Twitter and Instagram as Celebrate, C-E-L-E-B-R-E. So what's what's your next big? I know you're having something. In a next couple. big event is another fundraiser for domestic violence and um, breast cancer, and it uh, it is on next Saturday, October 10th, at St. Stephen's AME Church in Essex, at 1601 Old Eastern Avenue. What happens after that? After that, we have our honor ceremony for our new 2015-16 honorees, and that is October 25th. Thank you. Thank you.
be second place at the Apollo Theater Amateur Night. And this song taught me how music could be beautiful and powerful. Please.